All right, so we've just come back from the garden trip. We've got an abundance of fresh fruits and vegetables. Yeah, so we're gonna do chili jam, right? Chili jam today, so we're not gonna make it ultra hot today. Okay. So if you did wanna spice it up though, We've got your favourite one there. All right, habaneros, yeah, that'll bring tears to your eyes. It will, yeah. It's super simple, so we can get started. If I can get you to chop up some of those chilies for me there. All right. I'm gonna get started on the, the capsicum here. Make sure you remove the green top, um, and also the pith and the seeds in capsicum aren't so delicious. So we chop that up just roughly. I've got my handy dandy mixer here. And if you grab your chilli right. as well. And it's that easy, we give that a pulse. Look at the beautiful colour there, I love it. We can just pop that aside for two seconds. All right. We get the vinegar and the sugar mix going in the pan. Pour that in there. When you make a jam, uh, traditionally you get a natural setting agent called pectin, which comes from the seeds and the skins and the membranes of a lot of fruit. Yeah. Um, there's not as much pectin in chilli and capsicum. So we want to use this sugar. This is a jam setting sugar, so it comes with pectin in it. Now, it seems like a lot of sugar, but once that dissolves, you won't even be able to tell. <laughs> we crank the heat on and we just let that slowly simmer away on a lowish heat. So while that heats up, I notice we've got heaps of chilies left over here and I can see a papaya there yesterday. Oh yes, you asked me to get nice green papaya. So while you're peeling the papaya and getting that ready, I'll chop up just one chilli for this. So this is just gonna balance out that sweetness with a bit of a spicy kick. Yep. I'm just gonna check on this vinegar and sugar sauce uh, here for the chilli sauce. Uh -huh. So I can see the sugar's completely dissolved now. Get a spoon and we pour this delicious red chilli and capsicum Looks mixture into there. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Look at the colour. And then we leave that on, on a high heat so we can ramp that up a little bit. We really want it to sizzle away and get all the colour and the flavour out of the capsicum and the chilli. Now I've got your... Got some papaya I've there, got some papaya. slippery papaya. That is slippery too. So we've got the mandolin here. Yep. It's got the julienne fitting in there. Yep. And you just run that back and forth. All right, Trev, so I think I've got enough papaya there grated. So basically, we'll take the lid off that. Right. Straight into the bowl here. Yep. So you can tip in the onion, sprinkle that salt in there, and then mix it with your hands really well. Now, the next step, super simple again. Yep. Got some rice vinegar there. Then we're going to go the chilli that I chopped up earlier. Oh, we're going to put the garlic in as well. All right. And a pinch of some fresh peppercorns. Perfect, mate. And then we've got some raw sugar up there. Um, now we're going to put that over a heat. This yeah. just needs to get hot, melt the sugar. The sauce here has been simmering away. It looks wow. like it's done to me. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll switch this one off completely. And we're going to leave that to cool for 10 to 15 minutes. Sugar and vinegar here is dissolved, so it's not piping hot. It's just warmed through and it's taking out some of the flavours from the chilli and the garlic as well. Right. So we're pretty much ready to go. So if you can get a couple of those jars we've got up there. Yeah. And we're basically going to get the onion and papaya mixture. Pack it in probably right up to the top. You don't want to squash it too much in because you still want room for the sauce to go in, obviously. Yep. We basically just get the pot and then we just top these jars off so until they're completely covered in the liquid. You can eat this as soon as two hours it will be ready. So that's the papaya and red onion pickle. Wow, that is cool, mate. Just leave those with me, I'll look after them. All right, I'm sure you will. We've got our jam mixture here. It's ready to go into the jars as well. Okay. So we simply ladle it out, and this will probably take overnight in the fridge to really set into a proper marmalade style, you know, jam. So there we go, Trev. Wow, mate. That's the chili jam. Perfect for an anti-pasto board with some cheeses, or even makes a great gift come Christmas time. They last a couple of years, so maybe next Christmas as well. All right, awesome. That looks amazing. <laughs>